22 to 17 for the first time since the day after Christmas last year. The Chiefs get a victory of any kind as they beat the Minnesota Vikings here in front of an electric Arrowhead Stadium crowd. I want to talk about trenches in this game. Last week when I was watching the San Diego tape, the reason Kansas City stayed in that game, in my opinion, was the defensive line starting to grow. I saw Tyson Jackson, Kelly Gregg, Wallace Gilberry, Glenn Dorsey hold the fort and hold uh, the San Diego Chargers to only 3.9 a rush. And I was thinking, could it hold over to this week taking on Adrian Peterson because AD, one of the best in the league, and came in averaging 5.1 a carry. They did it again and did it even better than last week because this time it led to a victory. My report starts with the defensive line holding Adrian Peterson, Adrian Peterson to 3.5 a carry. And they stayed away from giving the Vikings the big gaping gashing runs which would have made everything run downhill on the Kansas City Chiefs. Plus, when the game was on the line, I'm standing right here at the 41 yard line. That's where the Vikings were. After a great 62 yard punt by Dustin Colquitt, his best of the year, the Vikings had to go from their own 14. But they got here to the 41 yard line of Kansas City. On first down with receivers open, Kelly Gregg gets a tip pass on an attempt by McNabb. So instead of a play down the field near the goal line, it's second and 10. Then a tip pass again with a wide open player for the Vikings down the field. Tyson Jackson gets a tip pass. Now all of a sudden, the Vikings have an issue. They've got fourth and 10 on two plays made at the line of scrimmage by the defensive line. The Chiefs hold on fourth down and get the victory, beating the Vikings 22 to 17. The other part that you see beyond the stats would be the trenches on offense. Brandon Albert all week long had a chat with him on Wednesday. He was talking about how he was preparing this week. It was a huge week for him because he reminded me or he asked me, he said, wasn't I one of the guys picked up in the trade for Jared Allen? I said, yeah, you were. So people are going to be talking about it. Brandon Albert had one of his best games in uh, recent years as he did a great job all day long on the left side of that Chiefs offensive line. In fact, you can go right down the line. You can go to Lilja, you can go to Wegman, you can go to Awesome Moy, you can go to Barry Richardson, who also had a tough task today. They kept the Chiefs holding the fort and the offensive line to disallow a lot of negative plays by Kansas City. That allowed the Chiefs then to open up the passing game. Breston was huge in this game. A couple of key catches, a 28-yarder when the Chiefs were backed up at their own seven. He kept that drive alive on a third and eight catch for 14. Ryan Suckup, another one of the heroes today, tying a Chiefs record with five made field goals. But he made one from 54 yards on that drive to give the Chiefs the lead back. He also hit one from 51 at the buzzer of the half to give the Chiefs a 9-7 lead. But to me, and Matt Castle had a big day, Bo had the 52-yard catch and run for a touchdown. If he stays on his feet, he's as tough there is to tackle in this league. It's yards after catch for these Chiefs receivers. We'll talk about that during the week on KCChiefs.com. But to me, this victory, trenches, trenches, trenches. The defensive line for the second consecutive week playing in a winning fashion and the offensive line with a tough spot because they were playing the Vikings who led the league coming into this game and forcing negative plays by their opponents. So offensive and defensive line getting it done for Kansas City and the Chiefs win it 22 to 17. Thanks to the great folks at Time Warner Cable for making this post game report happen. Listen, next time you're here for Ed Arrowhead for the Monday Night Football game against the Chargers, make sure you go to the Hall of Honor. It's a must-see. It's a presentation of Time Warner Cable. It's a victory Sunday. Yeah, find the sweet nectar of victory. The Chiefs get to taste it, 22-17 over the Vikings. I'm Mitch Holtis, voice of the Chiefs on KCChiefs.com.